What's going on, Leo? Hey, play. Play a song for us. So this is Leo, Leo Straight. He's the uh, fourth generation uh, straight music family member. Uh, you know, th this is kind of what it's like growing up in a music store. There's uh, many pianos that take some abuse. Uh, back when I was growing up, my favorite thing was to go in the organ room and play with all the organs. My name is Clint Strait. I am the third generation owner of Strait Music Company. Strait Music was started in 1963 by my grandfather, Dan Strait, uh, who retired in 1982, which is when my father, Robert, took over. I'm Dan Strait, and I'm the one that started this thing. <laughs> uh, I started in 1963, July 1st, as a matter of fact, and uh, I came to Austin from Houston. I worked at a place piano company there for 12 years, and um, I had a chance to get a Baldwin dealership in Austin and it was named Straight Piano and Organ Company, and we were strictly a piano and organ dealer. In 1967, I decided to take out guitars and amplifiers, and, and my wife said, no, you don't want to do that. And I, and I said, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. So we did, and it, 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 things just mushroom from there. And in 1970, I uh, decided I was going to take on band instruments and become a full-line store. And we changed our name to Straight Music Company, Incorporated. And, uh, and again, my wife said, oh, you don't want to do that. I said, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> and the rest is history. Was it Willie that gave us a deposit to order it? I think so. That's what yeah. someone else told me, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That yeah. was uh, our first big Yamaha board. Yeah. I'm Alan Franklin. I've been here at Street Music for over 30 years, and I've got probably about 42 years experience. I started out uh, apprenticing at the, the old H&H &H Music Company in Houston, Texas, where I apprenticed with an old master. We repair pretty much everything that is involved in school music programs from grammar school on up through college, graduate school to the professional level. We do everything for all of the instruments. This is, you know, it's a fun thing. And people would dig seeing how stuff gets done, you know? Like using magnets like this. The magnets are on there holding, that's holding, there's a magnet on the other side that's holding a little patch. And that's how you can place them and find out that they're in the right place to put magnets on both sides. That's cool, you know, I think. My name is Lauren Ellis and um, I do guitar repair and restoration. It's unusual to find women that want to do this because you get dirty and, and it's kind of mechanical, but it's fun. Spraying it, I've been spraying it the last month. I feel like with instruments, there's always something new to be learned, you know? Lauren will say something to me and she'll say, man, this is the first time I've ever seen this. She's been doing this for, you know, 40 years or so. 40 years? Yeah. Give me a break. No? 39. 39, okay, I'll give <laughs> So what I'm doing here is a, a refret on a uh, old Rickenbacker, basically over time the frets get worn down pretty far and you can maintain them to a point but then after that you've got to pull them out and replace them so it's a decent sized surgery um, we do it a lot here um, but it brings it back to uh, basically its original playing feel and gives you a whole lot more life on the guitar so um, you know we just pull all the frets out first then I'll kind of clean it up and clean the little slots that they go into and then cut some new wire and hammer it all in and shine it all up, string it back up and, and uh, send them home happy. I try and put the same effort into it, whether it's that the eight-year-old kid with the easy little thing or it's the incredible vintage instrument. Everyone kind of deserves the same 
um, level of service. You know, no matter if it's it's a big job or a little job, um, they're all important. This is uh, the piano shop. This is where the magic happens for the piano department. They constructed so it's the ideal length of the We have an S stein way back here that we've taken completely apart and we're gonna completely rebuild, uh, put new pins and strings, pin block. I grew up in the piano business. My dad taught me to tune. Uh, my brother tuned and my uncle tuned. So when, um, when we were sitting at the dining room table, that's what we talked about. You know, piano is a very personal item. It's kind of like a guitar. You, you kind of want to get your hands on it and feel it because each one has their own personality, the way they sound and feel. And so it's important that people get their hands on, try out the instrument, and then they know for sure that it's exactly what they want. So it's a big part of it, trying it out in person. My name's Stuart Fannin. I'm basically probably the first guy that you see at the counter. Um, I'll probably sell you strings, guitars. I've worked here since I was 18, so that's about six years. I told you to get a real <laughs> job! It's true, he did say go to college. I haven't done that yet. You uh, actually interviewed my dad earlier, too. Uh, John Fannin is my dad. I'm probably the oldest employee here and the, got the longest hair. What else? I actually grew up around straight. I've been seeing a lot of these guys since I was basically in diapers. My name is Chanel. I've been working here at Straight Music for seven and a half years. I've been here since I was 19. Um, I work in the band and orchestra department. Mostly that means I talk about trumpets and flutes. Those are my two areas of expertise. Um, I play both. A lot of what I do is just um, I help kids get their first instruments, which uh, can be really exciting because they've never seen instruments before. Um, so you get to help them take their first steps in the music. And sometimes I feel like I could be changing somebody's life. Sometimes I feel like I'm just helping people try new things. One of the unique things about being in band and orchestra is that you have a lot of the same customers. So you'll get one kid and they come in when they're in sixth grade and they're getting their first instrument. And then when they go into high school, they come in and they need to upgrade to something nicer. So you actually see your, your, your customers grow up um, a lot of times. I've got some customers that, uh, that I've had since they started and some of them are in college now. And they're, um, they're getting you know, nicer instruments and they come back because you make them feel welcome and you show them things and it's fun and they feel like they can trust you. So you're really building a bond um, with your customers and it's like a, a staple of the community. They feel very attached and you feel attached because that's a lot of, that's a lot of what music is. It's about connection and um, it's personal. I would say the first thing that makes our store special and different from other music stores would be our people. I mean, people, um, they make friends here with the salespeople and the staff, and they feel comfortable uh, coming in. Because buying a musical instrument can sometimes be a scary proposition if you're a first-timer or a parent, you know, who doesn't know anything about like band instruments, for instance, uh, for their kid, or if you're a, for a starting guitarist, and I mean, you really need guidance. It's something that you can't get out of a catalog or on the internet, really. This is something uh, that's passion for people, and so that's really cool that we get to deal with people's passions. Uh, whether it's the professional player or the mom getting something um, for her kid in band, or whether it's a first time uh, student playing the guitar. So that's something that's really fun too, getting to experience that. It's just been growing, you know, product lines and employees, and then we opened a second location about 15, 20 years ago at uh, 620, 183. We've been lucky. I mean, yeah. we've worked hard too, and well, yeah. but we've got great employees. A lot of them been here a long, long time. And and to start out just being a small ball and pin and organ dealer, and here we are, you know, uh, and we we have customers from all over. And, and our repair departments are thriving and doing a very fine job, have the reputation. To, to say you've got a family band that's still going this day and time, uh, it speaks well for uh, the business and, and our reputation. That's pulled us through so many times, you know. 
I've heard some stories about the guy that wanted to run us out of business. He'd be the happiest day of his life. And we fooled him. And then what saved us, I think, is that was our tradition and how we treat customers. And my motto is where customers become friends. And I've made so many good friends throughout the years. store, whether I was vacuuming offices when I was five years old or going on deliveries in high school, it's been something that's been a part of me and my heritage. This is my extended family. We call it the straight music family and uh, there's a reason for that. These people are a part of my family. <laughs> 